welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that objectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Mapa Sikamura. So, Burundi is holding a referendum vote to decide whether or not to amend their constitution in order to increase the presidential term from five years to seven years. Mm. So, uh, President Pierre Ngurunziza cast his vote in his home province of Ngozi wearing Adidas apparel. Mm. So um, this could allow the president to govern to up to 2034. Yes, bringing his presidential term to a spanning 29 years. Mm. So uh, the ballot box did not have uh, the referendum question. It just had yes or no this because apparently uh, the people of Burundi already know what they're voting for. Campaigners to halt the constitutional amendment uh, have allegedly been harassed, arrested and tortured by the police. Now all of this comes after China abolished uh, their own presidential limits, meaning that Xi Jinping can govern China until he dies. Pretty much, yes. Um, so, President Gurunziza said that, you know what, because I was elected by parliament and not by people, I, you know what, I should be able to run for a third term. And this constitutional amendment will bring that. It does not consider the past terms uh, of a candidate, <laughs> which is pretty insane. Um, so, you know what, my personal point of view is that I am not against a president's actually holding terms for 20 to 30 years because here's the thing it takes a very long time to rebuild a nation or to even turn your nation into a superpower so having that long a term will create stability consistency and um, a better projection of growth that's if that leader um is got like proper economic plans, respects democracy, and has a really good execution plan, as well as a great team at that. However, um, you know, history suggests that people who want to govern for longer are normally the ones that have no regard for human rights. Um, the, especially the freedom of the media to report uh, and, you know, the freedom of expression of their political opponents. So... In the case of President Pierre Ngurunziza, uh, it's that case where, you know, he's been president since 2005, since the Civil War came to an end that killed more than 300,000 people. And he was voted in by the parliament, so it wasn't actually the people's decision to make him president, but it was actually the parliament. Uh, he's faced a coup also, so it's pretty interesting as well, because his neighbors are people who would never ever hold him to account. The likes of Rwandan President Paul Kagame, uh, Kenyan President um, <laughs> Uhuru Kenyatta, you've got uh, Tanzanian President John Magafuli, so... All his buddies that kind of have, you know, the same attitudes on human rights and freedom of the media and uh, freedom of expression of the opinion. So, yeah, Africa, can we just get our act together? Can we get to a point where we respect democracy, we respect human rights, we actually organize and we build this continent because God knows that we need to develop this bloody continent. Yeah. My name is Mapasika Mura. Use your talents to serve humanity. And I will see you guys next week on a Monday. Stay awesome. Ha, yes.